Hi guys, Colleen here with the new issue of Daphne's Diary. So it just arrived this morning and I get it um, through the post. So I have a subscription. So I thought that I would just open it up and do a wee flip through. Just try and see. And I'll leave the link um, to where I get my subscription from. Um, it just means that I don't have to try and find it now because um, I, I live in a small town so you don't get Daphne's diary. You have to go into Belfast or somewhere to get it. So just double checking that we can fit the whole two pages in. Might need to go back a wee bit. Any better? Okay, so we've got beautiful cover, always really pretty. Um, love when there's butterflies on the things. So Again, the inside is usually, of the cover, is usually gorgeous as well. And um, we've got You Are My Sunshine. Double checking. Can see most of it. Um, so, I've got a bit of a bee theme going on maybe this month. And I love this faded butterfly border with the flowers. That's really pretty. So it is. Um, we've got garden festivals. This must have been a while ago. <laughs> um, and I love all the florals. Some more florals which is brilliant. That would make a lovely page in a journal on its own and then the florals are just really cute purple florals so these pages are matte and there are shiny ones further on over so we've got Russian honey cake Wondering if I can move it a slight little bit over. And playing games. And then we've got things that are in the garden. That wee house is really cute, along with a little tiny ceramic butterfly. And really pretty colours. Um, I'm never partying with this. And again, the borders are just really cute. And as we poem here, got bees. Happy bee day. So, this is still the map, and I've gone into the sort of shiny pages. So, we've got gorgeous daisies. I love daisies. And we've got two double-sided sheets of those. And then we're back into the mat again. So we've got a colouring page. And then we've got a little quiz about your favourite flower. Um, let's see. That'll be fun to do later. And then we've got a make these little windmills. Don't usually make the things, um, but I do use the paper because it's always really pretty. It's got a Mr. Bear story, an anti cat. And then we've got cheerful jewellery as one of the feature artists. 
just to make jewelry. Um, I think it was one of my first crafty sort of hobbies a long while ago. We've got some recipes. This is really cute up here. Even if you don't use the recipe pages, you can cut out bits and pieces. We've got body and health. And more B. Oh, this is a mood tracker, which is quite nice to go in a journal. And then we've got some stickers, we tags, which are really pretty. Ah, they're for the plant pots. I'm not be using them on plant pots, I'll be using them in my journal. Um, so we've got a feature garden some of these forms um, and the border again gorgeous it's really pretty it's like a little fairy house what is yep fairy tales come to life I'm actually working on a fairy journey at journal at the minute um, so I may have to use those fairy doors oh definitely that one the purple one that's gorgeous love the borders and then we've got plant your own garden and again the florals that I would cut out and use in my journal and we've got drawing insects in your garden so we've got dragonflies butterfly poem that will end up in one of my journals and we've got when to sow and when to harvest um, it's like a pull out hold on if it's over so even if I wasn't using that as a, a calendar, um, it's just a really pretty page. And then underneath is just um, beautiful florals. That go for and we've got a special lunch and friendship anniversary gorgeous desserts red velvet trifle that sounds really good I'm doing Slimming World so don't think any of these would be in my sins <laughs> how gorgeous that looks yum Um, a wind chime to make out of Fimo. Even that page is just really pretty, and you could cover the ingredients over with a sticker or something if you wanted to use that. Wedding in the English countryside. It's a really pretty issue. I mean, they're all pretty, but this one is just really up my street loads of stuff that I can see being used in a journal ah miniature garden for fairies I have been waiting to do um, my fairy journal for quite some time and I started it at the beginning of April so this just looks like we like die cuts that you cut out and make your wee Fairy Garden. We've got a wee story. Beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And we've got the top 10 butterfly plants. Might have to look at that when my husband does the garden. Because I love butterflies. And you don't see very many anymore. Um, so we've got Sweets, I think, from the past. 
lovely vintage photo. And now my dog is going to go mad because my son has just come in from a bike ride. That was his little bit of exercise. Um, beautiful picnic spot. And garden benches. And then we've got some book recommendations. So there's always book recommendations. And we've got presents that money can't buy. We've got more recipes. So these are like wee recipe cards. Mm, coconut. Coconut cheesecake. And this looks like it's a little box. Yeah, oh, oh, it's a little watering can. That is really cute. Really cute. And then we've got more recipes. And then we've got some travel stuff. Actually, these beach houses are gorgeous. Not be going anywhere anytime soon, but it's nice to look at the pretty pictures. Seed paper might be fun to try. Um, we've got things to do outside. We've got posts from friends. It's always a nice read. And a vintage garden apron and how to make it. And uh, we've got a little poem. And then some gardening tips. It's really cute. Um, so this must be somebody making these. Um, dolls. Well, that one's really pretty. Actual little girl. Very cute. Some more things to make. That is a beautiful, that would be a beautiful page in a journal. So we've got those to make. Purple. got some things about plants and ivy. We've got the next issue is looking like it's a summertime one. Which it would be, wouldn't it? Because this one, the next one probably won't be out till mid-June. We've got I think this was the subscription I got here. Um the twenty three twenty three ninety six, yep. And you got um eight Daphne's diaries and their first four issues were actually free. Um so it looks like um that is the one that I got. There's only two more two more to come. So I need to renew. And then there's the paper pot. I would love to get the paper pockets. But the shipping to the UK for the actual stuff on Daphne Starry's website is really expensive to the UK. So that is the back page. Which is really cute. And then you've got the little birdies. Again, would make a fab cover for a journal. So it would. So I am going to go and have a little read of some of the articles in here. 
some plan how to use some of that, especially the fairy stuff. My dog's gone nuts, so I need to go. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. To consider subscribing, that would be even better. And I'll see you next time. Bye.